I say, Holmes, that niece of yours is rather splendid, what? Yes, she is indeed, Watson. And like all members of the Holmes family, she is resplendent with prodigious attributes. Yes, yes, well, uh, one attribute she could have stood to inherit is modesty. Really, Watson? Well, you could be glad of one thing. What's that? She is at least the prettier Holmes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> 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 Yes. Perhaps the next hat I buy should have a little little trap door in it in case you want to want to get involved in any more of your experiments. Really, Watson? It's a small price to pay for the truth. Yes, well, it'd be even smaller price if it was your hat, I should think. Oh, there we are. Uh, oh, look at that. Look. I got this. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Hello? What's this? Something. There he is. How do you get in there? Oh, like the famous beef eaters that guard the crown jewels in the Tower of London, Watson, that lonely sentry seems to be guarding your crown. <laughs> yes, well, I just said that. Guarding my crown. Really, Holmes? I think that's the worst joke I've ever heard. Oh, sometimes, Holmes, sometimes you outdo yourself. Oh, no, not the violin. It's getting, it's, it's getting like a cabaret in here. <laughs> well, don't stand there laughing like a hyena. It so happens I prefer it this way. It's air-conditioned for the summer. Wonderful, Watson. A really remarkable invention. Oh, so. Elementary, my dear Holmes. Quite elementary. <laughs> Late at night, when everyone is sleeping, the fog is rolling, the moon is gone to bed. Sherlock and me, Sherlock and me, solving a mystery. 